Did Jesus really suffer? Did he really die? Does he understand what pain is? There are many questions about this with Jesus Christ, and yet today our quote points us back to the Word of God and reminds us that Jesus does understand our suffering. Our Lord Jesus knew what it was to experience real suffering and die a real death. Hi friends, I'm Pastor Josh. I'm so glad you could join me today as we look at another quote that will point us back to the Word of God and together we can develop the mind of Christ. Our quote today points us back to the fact that Jesus does understand suffering. Many of you are struggling with suffering, whether it's because of the coronavirus or extra fears that are coming with that, or maybe it's some other issue in life. And yet Jesus does understand suffering. Our quote comes from Warren Wearsby, the book that he wrote entitled The Cross of Jesus, What His Words from Calvary Mean for Us. This quote is part of an extended quote that I'd like to read to you here and look at this truth of Jesus. The Lord Jesus had a real human body and experienced all the sinless infirmities of human nature. He knew what it was to grow up. He knew what it was to eat, drink, and sleep. He knew what it was to feel pain. And our Lord Jesus knew what it was to experience real suffering and die a real death. Many people are struggling because Easter looks so different this year. Now, as a church family, we're able to get together and we're doing a a drive-in style service and we're looking forward to that. But many services are still online. We'll still be streaming this Sunday, but there are some churches who are only able to stream. Why can we not get together as a church family and celebrate our risen Savior? And we suffer and struggle through some of those things of not gathering as family and so many other events and special things of Easter time. But Jesus understands our fears. He understands our suffering because pain is real to him. Hebrews 4, 14 through 16. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Here in this passage we are reminded, first off, of the truth of Jesus, that Jesus is in heaven. When he died, he rose again, and he is alive in heaven today. And we have that confidence in the resurrection, not just of Jesus, but in the resurrection of our own bodies someday, if we know Jesus Christ is Savior. So we go back to this truth, but then we're reminded from Hebrews that not only the fact of Jesus and that he's alive and in heaven, but the fact that you and I can focus on him and come before him because he understands the feeling of our infirmities. He understands the suffering of the human body. He understands the pain that we are going through even this week. He understands exactly what you're going through. And you can come to him. That verse, the section there reminds us to hold fast our profession of faith. We can be confident of our salvation in Christ, but not to give up. We can not only just be confident of salvation, but we can come boldly to the throne, bringing our requests to God in a great way, confident that he hears and he understands. So friend, I don't know exactly where you are with your emotions this Easter season. And yet, wherever you find yourself, remember that Christ understands our suffering. We can come to him. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for this opportunity that we have to look at the truth of your word and be reminded that you understand our suffering and our struggles. Would you help us to give those over to you so that we can have the peace that passes all understanding. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Lord Jesus knew what it was to experience real suffering and die a real death. Friend, as we come to this Easter, this Sunday, I encourage you to continue focusing on our risen Savior and celebrate Him, even though it's going to look a little bit different.